Previously, Christy was a bitch. On today's episode, Christy deals with a problem. Okay, everybody, listen to me. Are you all listening? I have an announcement to make. I really like making announcements. I used to make announcements too until Christy said I'd be better making friends for her. Oh, jeez. I think I must have sat in some poison oak. My vajayjay is so itchy. We here at the best camp on earth are proud to announce that a decision has finally been made to buy some new canoes to replace the old ones that my daddy sold to pay for the Stellar J Spittoon showdown we held a few years back. Oh, new canoes! This is so exciting! As if falling off a bike and landing on a ribbed stump. Boats float on water, not on land. But in order to raise funds for this new purchase, we've decided to do some fundraising. As you know, the money isn't exactly flowing at the best camp on Earth right now, especially after Pamela and Shirley and I needed to get our hair done after we were... we fell in the bushes. I fell into a big hairy bush, all right. So what we're going to be doing is passing around a shoe for donations. And this year, in respect of our current fiscal difficulties, I've decided to pass around a last season Fluvog shoe. But don't worry. I assure you that I bought it on sale. We're all doing our part. Here, Christy. Do you want to throw in a dollar? Surely. What the hell is wrong with you? If I give my change, then how am I going to pay for my extra hot, no foam, two pump, triple shot, sugar free vanilla latte? That's what we have the peasants. I mean, that's what we have the campers for. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I I'm not thinking. I I'm just so bothered by my itchy change. I, I just better keep scratching it. <laughs> Speaking of lattes and campers, where the hell is Grapreet? She was supposed to bring me my coffee ten minutes ago. Oh, sorry, Christy. I'm here. I'm here. So sorry. I didn't mean to be late, but I had to take the old bridge over the stream at the last minute, and I could only run without spilling your latte so quickly. Well, then why didn't you just take the new bridge over the stream like a normal person would? It's a shorter route. I mean, why did we build it if not for people like you to get me my latte quicker? I mean, to get here more safely than before. Oh, I'm sorry, Christy, so sorry, but I didn't have a quarter to pay the troll's toll. Capreet! How hard is it to plan ahead and make sure that when you need to go over the troll's bridge, that you have the right change to pay him with? I mean, really, it's just a quarter each way every day. That's all we ask the troll to collect. And you people just keep making a big deal about it. I never hear anything else from your side of the stream other than, Oh, Christy, we don't want to pay the troll to cross the stream over the new bridge. Wow, well, Christy. Well, well, Christy, it's so unfair. Why do we have to sacrifice our children to the troll, Christy? God, if I have to listen to one more whine about that damn troll's toll under the bridge, I am going to pop an ovary. If you people don't want to have to pay to cross the stream every day, then maybe you should all have just made smarter decisions earlier in your lives, and then you could all afford to live on the west side of the stream where all the non-latte-spilling, non-troll-complaining campers pitch their tents, and then maybe if we were all just the same there, things would be a lot happier and simple, and I wouldn't have to smell your curry, and the best camp on earth wouldn't have any need for trolls now, would it? Oh, you're really very right, Christy. I'm definitely going to get a very high-paying job in the future, so I can afford to live on the west side of the stream, just as soon as my internship here is over. Gurpreet, if you're not happy interning at the best camp on Earth, I'm sure that I could find another young girl out there who would love the opportunity. I mean, there are like 50 billion of you, right? You're not exactly unique. Oh, no, Christy, I'm not unique at all, no, but I really do love working here. The air is so fresh, and the people are so nice. And do you have this month's tuition? payment for me? Oh, well, you see, Christy, I meant to talk to you. Flipping Christ, Capreet! Do you want to be here or not? Oh, I really do! But since you raised my payments by 70% the last few weeks, I found it very hard... Capreet, what have I always told you? What is the most important thing for you to be focusing on right now? Laundering your bloomers? That's right, an education. 
With a good education, you can achieve anything in life. There is nothing more important to a young person. Like, look at me. I graduated from high school, and now I'm camp leader at the best camp on earth. Isn't that something that you want for yourself, too? Oh, yes, it is. And then maybe one day even you, too, the lowly Gapreet, will be allowed to live on the west side of the stream? Wouldn't you like that? Isn't getting a good education important enough for that? Oh, yes, Christy. It's what I want most in life. Good. Then pay up. And don't give me fifties this time. None of the shops in town will take them. Of course, Christy. And after you've taken care of my laundry, my camp leader's cabin could use some sweeping. Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. As soon as I'm done here, I have to attend a negotiating session with the squirrels. Flipping Christ, it's always the squirrels. I thought I told you to take care of them months ago. Oh, I've been trying really hard, Christy, but they've been quite adamant and are very concerned that they're not going to be receiving enough nuts to last them through the winter. Freaking Christ! How many times do I have to say it? It's a nut zero mandate! We've been perfectly clear! Oh, I've tried to tell them, Christy, but they've been quite adamant. Christy! Christy! We're tired of being cold shouldered! We don't have enough nuts! We've been looking and looking, and all we've been able to find is just a few walnuts and some hazelnuts! We can't even find any acorns! We need more nuts! You stupid squirrels! How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not the one you're negotiating with? You need to talk to Gurpreet and find a compromise with her. Gurpreet! We don't have enough nuts! We can't even find any acorns! We need more nuts! I'm sorry, but I've been told by Christy that we can't give you any more nuts. Christy! We need more nuts! You have to talk to Gurpreet. How many times do I have to tell you? Gurpreet! We need more nuts! Christy, can we give them any more nuts? Gurpreet, how many times do I have to tell you it's a nut zero mandate? We don't have any nuts to give you. We need more nuts! I am not the one you are negotiating with. I'm sorry, we can't offer you any nuts. We, we want, want more nuts. nuts! A nut zero mandate means no more nuts, you stupid squirrels. Maybe we could find you some leftover nuts from last year. Gurpreet, you're supposed to be handling this. We will not be disrespected. We are proud professional squirrels who work hard for the best camp on earth, and we deserve to be treated with dignity. dignity. We will not let you squirrel away our children's future. Hoarding today for a better tomorrow. Hoarding today for a better tomorrow. Listen to me, you disgusting rodents. You will not get one more nut out of me. Do you hear me? Not even one. I hate Squirrels, I hate your beady eyes and your greedy little claws. I'll see every last one of you exterminated before I hand over a single cashew. I think what Christy means to say is... Shut up, Gurpreet. We won't let you get away with this, Christy. We have a plan of action ready, and after we've voted on it, we'll show you what 40,000 angry squirrels can do. Yeah! You stupid squirrels and your stupid voting. What did a vote ever accomplish anyone? Huh? Did I get to be the leader of the best camp on earth because of votes? Phew! Get real, rodents. You wait and see what our votes can do. We're going to vote on how much we don't like you, and then when that vote passes, we'll get to vote on how we're going to get back at you, and then when that vote passes, we'll bite your face off. <laughs> I'm sure we can all deal with our differences in a mature... Christy, my mama says that we're all going to have enough nuts this year. Are you going to help us, Christy? Get away from me, you furry rat. This is another Christie! Hoarding today for a better tomorrow! Hoarding today for a better tomorrow! Oh my god, Christy! It's so horrible! It's worse than that one time I got my hair done at Supercuts when I was 12. God, Shirley, fine. We'll go into town and get you some cream or something. No, no, it's not my JJ. That stopped itching a while ago, and, and now it's only discharging an achy yellow fluid. No, it's... I, I can't even say it. Because my mouth is full of the icky yellow discharge I've been licking out of my JJ. It's George Christy. He... We found him, or we, his head. His head? Look! Look! No! Who would do such a thing? Squirrels. Come on, girls. No one makes Christy look bad. Time to get even. Gapreet, bring that. Ch -ch 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 -ch